All right, here we are in Desmos. We've got our function that we've been playing with, x cubed, and we're focusing at time five, and we've got that uh, point marked right there. And we had figured out that our tangent line formula, L of x, was um, f of five plus, and uh, now f prime of five, we did a lot of work. We figured out it was 75 times x minus five. And um, let's put that in, uh, black. So our original curve is in red there and our tangent line formula is in black. Um, and is that a good local linear approximation of the red curve in that region? I would say so. Um, in fact, we can zoom in if we want and see, yeah, if you zoom in enough, that red curve looks pretty darn linear. So let's zoom back out and talk about what could have gone wrong. We did a lot of work trying to figure out that um, 75, what if we had gotten that wrong? What if we had gotten, uh, I don't know, 10? Well, we could say, well, that line is not a very good approximation of the red curve in that region, or at all, really. Um, so, or what if we had had 100? Oh, well, it's better, but it still um, could have been better uh, at 75. Um, at 75, it does actually look tangent to the line in a geometric sense, that it only hits the line at one point. Um, now, does it really only hit the line, at, uh, hit the curve at one point? Well, if you zoom out enough, you'll see that the tangent line does hit the curve somewhere else, but that's okay. We really only care about what's happening kind of right now. Calculus in this uh, chapter is all about what's happening right now. We don't care if the line actually becomes a good approximation for the function again somewhere else. So that's the tangent line and some of the things that could have gone wrong with it. Um, so in the chapter 2.1 homework, when you calculate a tangent line, it's a good idea to come to Desmos or graphing calculator if you want um, and plot the function and plot the tangent line you get and make sure you actually do get a line that's tangent to the function. And if not, go back and fix things.